Today we are going to finally review the professional certificate in data science from Harvard University and EDX. Do we think this is worth it to either get the certificate or learn all of the free material? Today we are going to find out fundamental R programming skills. Those of you that know me well know that I will do this. I'm trying to roll my eyes because I don't think uh, R is the right programming language to focus on in 2022. Statistical concepts such as probability, inference, and modeling, and how to apply them in practice. Gain experience with tidyverse, including data visualization with ggplot2, and data wrangling with deployer, pretty common R libraries. Become familiar with essential tools for practicing data scientists such as Unix and Linux, Git and GitHub, and RStudio. This stuff is actually very, very important and uh, extremely overlooked. In-depth knowledge of fundamental data science concepts through motivating real-world case studies. Real world stuff. I really like that. Let's get into the material. Now, I will have to say that I have not taken this material, but I can review all of the concepts uh, and say if I think that this is worth it to go down this path. So data science, R basics, build a foundation in R and learn how to wrangle, analyze, and visualize data. Not really much I need to go into there. They're going to teach you R as quickly as they can, basically. Data science visualization. So this will be the R visualization libraries. ggplot2 is the most common one for sure. Uh, probability. Essential for a data scientist. Is it? I mean, some of it's good to know, but I don't know if probability theory is essential for a data scientist. Let's see what they got here. Monte Carlo simulations are not required for data scientists. You probably don't need to know this. The meaning of expected values and standard errors and how to compute them is actually pretty important. So I think that's better. The importance of the central limit theorem. Yeah, they it, they should probably teach you the CLT if you don't know it. Inference and modeling. How to use models to aggregate data. No, one word, aggregate data from different sources. The very basics of Bayesian statistics. Yeah, I mean, sure, you don't really need to go into Bayesian statistics, uh, but I guess it doesn't hurt. Productivity tools. Okay, this is great. So uh, I'm not going to go into this. I think that's a very, very important skill, often overlooked and not put into Coursera type courses. Wrangling, learning to process and convert raw data into formats needed for analysis. How to tidy data using the tidyverse to better facilitate analysis. Like, what, did they even read this? Rejects is good to learn for everybody. Linear regression, okay? Linear, linear regression is actually really, really good in R. How to examine the relationships between variables by implementing linear regression in R. Uh, is incredibly important. And so of course they teach linear regression as they should. It is the most fundamental skill a data scientist can learn. Of course, this stuff is uh, a little bit more important. So how to perform cross validation to avoid overtraining. Overtraining is not a word that anybody uses. Uh, what they mean is to avoid overfitting. I've literally never seen that before. How to build a recommendation system. So glad they put that in there. Probably the most common job, um, especially among the bigger companies that all use and have an amazing recommendation recommendation system. Uh, pretty much all of them do. Data science capstone. This final project will test your skills in data visualization, probability, inference, and modeling, data wrangling, data organization, regression, and machine learning. Okay, so it's a big project. I think this is wonderful that they do that. But it doesn't look like deep learning is something that is taught. Paying a thousand dollars to say that you're a, a data scientist that doesn't know deep learning. Overall, they did a pretty good job taking away all of the useless or mostly useless probability and statistics theory and giving you what is useful. It's other stuff that's kind of unconventional but useful like Unix and Linux, Git and GitHub. So uh, I hope this was useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time.